What's fascinating about the picture is that science, particularly infrared, has allowed us to see the way in which he worked on the painting, the way in which he developed it. There's an awful lot of paddling beneath the surface of the water. For a long time, we can see that he didn't really know what to do at the right-hand side of the painting. That area, he just couldn't crack it. And quite late on in the composition, suddenly he gets, he gets some form of stylus and he scratches into the surface. These figures, they're outside the manger, they're not inside. And he adjusts these foreground objects. The wagon wheel was already there, but he introduces the spade, which I think is a fantastic detail. Why is he taking such pains? He's even moved the wheel. We can see that from the infrareds. He's moved the wheel over. It's almost like a child doing their nativity crib, moving the figures and objects around. He's doing that, except he's doing it with the stylus. The complexity of the light, the, the involved nature of the composition, all he's thinking about is, how do I express the extraordinary nature of this moment?